guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and for today's video we are at Barnes and Nobles and we are going to be doing a little bit of book shopping. I have not bought any books since August and I was so proud of myself because I was like I didn't buy any books in September. I stayed away from the bookstores. I stayed away from the book sections of like Target and Walmart whenever I would go there. But I want to get some new books for fall season. There have been some new releases that I want to pick up. There's also been some books on my radar for a really long time that I want to pick up. I got paid yesterday. So I'm taking myself and we're gonna make a little date out of it. So we're gonna go to Barnes. We're gonna get some books. You guys are gonna go shopping with me. Then we're gonna do a little book haul at the end. I have a list of books that I know for sure that I wanna get. And then I also have a list of books where it's like, if I see them, I may get them. So I think I'm also gonna get some coffee when I'm there because I haven't eaten any breakfast. And I was gonna get breakfast before I went on my drive, but I just wanted to get here. So we have our AirPods. I have my phone, my wallet, my keys. Let's go shopping. I hope it's not too busy because it is only 10.20. So I hope it's not too busy so I can film in there. We'll see how it goes. But I'm really excited. It's going to be a good day. I haven't been shopping in so long. And even though it's fall, I'm literally wearing shorts because I live in Florida. We don't have fall. First one. Is it this one? Should I do it? girl has some fun. I ended up going to two bookstores. So I went to Barnes. As you guys saw, I went to Books A Million because when I went to Barnes, the vibe was off. I was just not loving the energy and the vibe in there. It was just weird. I couldn't find like very popular books. New releases I couldn't find. I just wanted to leave. So I ended up just going to Books A Million and finding way more books there and just having a better experience there. And I bought, I think 10 books. So we're going to do a quick little haul. I felt like this book trip was very much needed. So we're gonna start with Books A Million. No. We're gonna start with Barnes because I only got 
two books there. The two books I got are The Naturals. So The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've heard really, really good things about this book. It is part of a series that's kind of criminal minds for the young adult world. Yeah, so it's about a 17 year old girl, Cassie. She has a natural gift of reading people. It's not a skill that she's ever taken very seriously. That is until the FBI comes knocking and they've begun a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to crack in famous old cases and they need Cassie. That sounds fun, sounds interesting. And then I also picked up Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. So this book I have heard so, so many amazing things about it. It's a fantasy, it is enemies to lovers, it is beautiful, beautiful writing. One thing that I remember that people talk about when they talk about this book is that I think the two main characters write letters to each other and the writing in those letters is just so phenomenal. So I'm really excited to get into this book because anything that dives into really beautiful writing, I'm a sucker for. I love good writing, especially in romance because it's just so sweet and then they write letters to each other. I love it. So I'm excited to read this. The cover is gorgeous and I know this is also part of a series. The second book is coming. I think the second book is coming out later this year. So these are the two books that I picked up from Barnes and Noble. Now moving on to Books A Million and I picked up this beautiful tote bag too that says there is no friend as loyal as a great bookstore which I absolutely agree with. Nothing will put me in a better mood than going to the bookstore. So we will unpack all the books that I got here. The first book I have is a very new book for me. It's a debut novel but it is The Witchery by S. Isabel and I just want to take a moment for this cover. Absolutely absolutely gorgeous. I don't read that many books about witches even though like I love fantasy and stuff they're typically not about witches so I was really interested in reading a book. I apologize my SD card ran out of storage on me. This book reminds me of Winx Club but instead of fairies it's witches so that's really exciting and it's a group of girls has dark magic bewitching prose and enchanting characters badass witches a kiss of romance and a touch of horror so I do think this is part of a series because there was another book that I picked up by the same author that had very similar cover but it was I think the second book in the series so this is the first book and it is a debut novel so I'm excited to read this one I think it's perfect for October perfect for the season so I'm excited then the next book I got this was one of the books that I was looking for and I don't know why I could not find it at Barnes and Nobles and I was so confused because I was like this literally is is a new release from a very popular author couldn't find it anywhere but anyways I picked up Wildfire by Hannah Grace this is the second book following Icebreaker by Hannah Grace it is part of the a Maple Hill series and it is probably one of my most anticipated reads of this half of the year because I absolutely loved Icebreaker when I read it. I read it last year in the fall and it was just so good. It's a hockey romance. It was about a hockey star and then a figure skater set in college. Super fun, really good friend group, found family, all the vibes. And this is the second book in that series and it follows one of the guys in that friend group. His name is Russ and then his love interest, I think her name is Aurora. And they have a one night stand and then kind of go their separate ways. Come to find out they are both working at this camp over the summer and I guess sparks fly. They kind of figure it all out. I've heard really good things about this book. I've heard that Russ is so good. I'm trying to remember how his character was. I think his character when I read it in Icebreaker, I think his character was new to the team and he was a bit more standoffish. So I'm really excited to read how his character develops as the story goes along. I just know that when Henry gets his book, I will be waiting and I will be seated because I absolutely love Henry as a character. I'm probably going to try and get to it this month. So the next book I have is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This book is about a girl named Avery. Avery. She inherits this billionaire's Tobias Hawthorne's mansion and in the mansion she finds that there are four of his grandsons. One of them thinks she's like a con woman or whatever. Their grandfather left this kind of riddle and puzzle and game to solve so they're all trying to like figure it out and stuff like that. So I don't know. It seems really fun. It seems very interesting. I feel like this book is going to be very character driven and plot driven and I've heard that it's very easy to kind of follow. Miss Jennifer Lynn Barnes, she was really piquing my interest when I was shopping so I'm excited to read this one. Next book I got is The High Mountain Court. This is a adult fantasy series I believe. This was one that I really picked up and had no idea. Like I'd never seen anyone talk about this book. It's about a 19 year old girl who is called a Red Witch and she is the potentially the last red witch alive her family was murdered and there is now a bounty to kind of get rid of all red witches so she teams up with this prince of the kingdom that they're at to stop a war with a court and in order to do that he needs a red witch so they kind of team up together and she is trying to save herself her people and possibly restore the kingdom and it's just I'm assuming going to be really fun and really crazy seems like it's going to be full of passion intrigue magic romance all of the nine yards I also saw that I think there's like 
with five books in this series so not that I need to be starting any more fantasy series but if I really like it then that'll be awesome because I love getting kind of lost in the world and lost in fantasy worlds so I'm really excited to read this. The next book I got this was a purchase where I genuinely felt the cover got me. This is beautiful so this is Masters of Death by Olive Blake and the cover of this is pretty on its own right? Let's take off this dust jacket for a second and let me show you guys the inside of this book. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I didn't have a choice as you could tell because that's beautiful. I want prints of just the inside of this cover. Absolutely gorgeous. I have heard really good things about this author and I have heard that her writing is just impeccable and I have heard really good things about her books. I know that she has the Atlas Six and she has one for My Enemy, which is another one that I picked up that I kind of was intrigued by, but I ended up going with this one because it seemed more fall-esque and it seemed more interesting to me. I don't fully know what this book is about. It seems like it's about a bunch of characters that are going to be very interesting and I think they're trying to solve a mystery and I'm excited. Oh my god, there's pictures in the book! This book is going to be so fun to read. <gasps> If you've read this book or if you've read any book by her, let me know your thoughts because this is so interesting to me. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. This one's gonna be really fun. The next book I got was The Taking of Jake Livingston. And this is by Ryan Douglas. One reason why I absolutely love Books A Million too is that they have like a sale section where they discount a lot of their books there. So I got this book for literally seven bucks and it's a hardcover. I love Books A Million. I'm a member. I became a member today, by the way. But yeah, this is The Taking of Jake Livingston. It is about a young boy. He's in high school. He goes to a predominantly white high school. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of Ace of Spades, but he goes to a predominantly white high school and he has to kind of deal, you know, with the racism, discrimination that comes from that, from his teachers and peers and yada, yada, yada. And there was a shooting either at his school or a school nearby. And the school shooter ended up unaliving himself as well and now he is essentially haunting Jake and Jake is a medium so he can communicate with the unliving and the living so very interesting very spooky I think I'm gonna actually add this to my TBR for this month for all of the thrillers and like spooky books that I'm gonna be reading because it's also pretty short and I've heard really good things about this one and I don't know it seems like it's gonna be fun We'll see. Two more books left. Next book I picked up, another book that I got from the sale section at Barnes, no, at Books A Million, is The Gilded Wolves. And I literally got it for $4. Are you serious? I think this is also a fantasy novel. I've heard that it kind of gives the same vibes as Six of Crows, just in the sense of a group of people are being put together. So they have to go on this mission slash quest and they're all like different personalities and it's kind of found family and anything along those lines. I am a sucker for. I love Six of Crows. It's one of my favorite like YA fantasy novels out there. So when I heard that it was kind of giving the same vibe, tell me less. I'm going to pick it up. It's set in 1889 in Paris, I believe. I was looking at this book on TikTok and I saw some like fan art and I was like, is this adult fantasy or a young adult fantasy? Because it was looking a little interesting. There's no shit. Girl, what? I feel like I'm gonna eat this up. I feel like it's gonna be so good. And then the last book that I picked up must I say more? I am finally, finally going to read Fourth Wing, you guys. This is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I feel like everybody and their mother knows about this book. Everybody and their mother knows what happened when nobody could find this book. Honestly, seeing this book at the store on the shelves and seeing so many copies felt so surreal because I remember when I was trying to get a copy months ago and it was like, good luck. So the fact that I can see it in person and like picked it up with my own hands absolutely insane. I have heard amazing things about this book. I'm really excited to read this book though because it's about dragons and the last book I read about dragons was so bad and I really want to like a book about dragons because it's something that I don't typically read. So I'm excited to finally read this and I've heard amazing things about it and my older sister she read it. She absolutely loved it. She was up to like 4 a.m. finishing and reading this book so I just feel like it's going to eat so much and I know that the next book is coming out very very soon so I definitely want to read this pretty quickly. I haven't been spoiled, which is crazy given the amount of people who've read this book, but I have not been spoiled and I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to try and limit all of like fourth wing content that I see. But if you have read this book and you liked it or didn't like it, let me know why or why not in the comments below. Those are all the books that I got. So we have The Gilded Wolves, Fourth Wing, Divine Rivals, The High Mountain Court, The Taking of Jake Livingston, Masters of Death, 
Wildfire, Naturals, The Inheritance Games, and The Witchery. I don't know why I said it like that. The Witchery. These are all of the books that I bought for fall and I'm excited to read them. I'm excited to dive into them, be expecting to see some of them in some fall reading vlogs. I just posted one last week of romance fall reading vlogs, but these are more like fantasy, spooky. And I have a cute little romance in here. Cute little romance just for a sprinkle of fun. Also, I did see the new collection for the Magnolia Parks Universe series and the new with the new covers. And I was going to buy them, but when I felt the books, they felt weird. Like they didn't feel like they were really good quality so I just didn't buy them and I honestly was like I really don't need two versions of the same book like it's not necessary and I actually prefer my old covers anyways apart from the, the new covers so maybe when I see like all of the covers of the new collection together maybe I'll be more inclined to buy them if I want to but it was really nice seeing them anyways that is the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little reading vlog and book haul I felt like this was so needed it's been a crazy semester and I have limited myself like don't buy books don't buy books you need to like get to your physical tbr and get that down and i feel like i did a little bit of that in the past couple of months but i wanted to buy some books and i was like i'm going to treat myself if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye so now the question is where do i put these new books oh my gosh because i literally just made my shelf all perfect and pretty i definitely think there's space for some of them I'll have to get creative and figure out where I want to put all of them, but oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I love it. Okay, bye. I just wanted to add that tangent.